uh, brewing. Leaders in Spain's wealthiest province have voted to ask Madrid now if they can go it alone. Catalonia not only has its own language and distinct culture, it's also responsible for a fifth of Spain's wealth. Let's speak to Anna Arc. She's from the European Partnership for Independence. She's joining me now from Catalonia's key city, Barcelona. Very nice place to be as well. Very good evening to you. Hi there. I mean, Spain's constitution says that uh, it's only the central government that can let anything like this happen anyway, so Catalonia's wasting its time, isn't it? Well, uh, we have to bear in mind and highlight the fact that uh, more than 80% of Catalans wish to express themselves, either if they want or not want the independence of Catalonia. So we are talking about democracy. We're talking about the principle of democracy and universal rights, as it is the universal right of uh, self-determination. So the constitution of, uh, of Spain, the Spanish constitution, sometimes is a little bit kidnapped by the legal interpretation that the different Spanish governments do uh, from it. Obviously, uh, there's uh, no democratic constitution that can oppose to a majority of citizens, of European citizens, to not express themselves in the ballot boxes. Doesn't make sense at all. So it's a time for the Spanish state to decide if they're going to be part of this positive democratic process of Catalonia, mm. or either if they're gonna auto-exclude themselves to put outside opposing themselves to even the ones that they don't want independence can express themselves. I got you, but and of course, we would have to justify that. I got you, but of course some of your uh, poorer Spanish neighbours and some of those poorer regions are going to say, no, it's not about that. It's, it's because you uh, rich, and it is the richest uh, region in Spain, you rich Catalonians want to keep all the money to yourselves, no? Well, no, not at all. It's not, it's not a question of, uh, of economy. It's not a question of money. Actually, uh, Spain uh, maybe is not that poor. We, we don't have. We actually think that the dependence of Catalonia is going to be of benefit for Catalonia, for Spain, and for Europe. And. Uh, I don't have any doubt that uh, we are not about letting Spain go bankrupt. Mm. So if it's a question of money, uh, we will help, we will do whatever it's possible. Because for us, it's not a question of money. Sure. It's about that we are a nation, we know we are a nation, we know our rights, and we are about to prove that we know that, and that we want to restore the state that we used to be with our constitutions, our institutions, so we can decide about, about our own policies and be in the world with a direct and official voice well, hearing, of our own as Catalans. You're hearing a similar thing from Scotland as well right now, but of course the counter-argument is it sounds great, but are you really strong enough to be self-sufficient? You're still going to be using the euro as well, and you know, a lot of people say, no, the safety in numbers here. Yeah, well, yes, uh, we are. Actually, Catalonia it's, uh, it's, it has a good economy. We actually have a superabit with Europe. Spain actually has a deficit Strong enough with, to stand uh, with on Europe. your own, yeah? Uh, big numbers don't mean, don't mean a healthy, healthy economy. Uh, we have a lot of countries in Europe, Denmark, um, et cetera, that they have less numbers that, uh, than we have. So we don't have any, any, any doubt uh, about that. All right, Anna. Nice to see you tonight. And thanks for being on the programme. Anna Art there from the European Partnership for Independence. Thanks for your input. No, thank you. Thank you. Let's check.